Hey now, today I'm going to be making a limoncello style liqueur. Uh, it's a great little treat for any time. Uh, that beautiful just blend of that sour lemon, the sweetness of the sugar syrup in it, it's delightful. And it's actually extremely easy to make. So what I've got here is ev basically everything that you need to make it. You just need lemons, you need uh, extra fine, uh, just white sugar and vodka, and then a little bit of water as well. So the first move is just to zest your lemons and the, it's important to try to not get too much of the pith out. Now initially I started to make this using this, uh, using this particular uh, peeler. However, when I actually just switched up to my regular vegetable peeler here, I found I was able to avoid picking up too much of the pith here at all, really. It was really nice and clean uh, as opposed to some of the stuff that I initially started with and it was way quicker. So before you actually go to zest them though, you want to make sure to wash them in hot water and just give them a little scrub, try to remove any wax that might actually still be on the lemons, just pad them dry. And then with the peeler here, you can just see how quick and easy it is. Just go over it. You try not to push down too deep, otherwise you will dig into the, into the pith. So just a really light, quick zesting. While this is happening, uh, you should have your precision cooker um, preheated. So I've got mine sitting at 135 Fahrenheit. And it's pretty much ready to go. So once you have your lemons all peeled, like this one here, you're just going to take it and put it in a Ziploc bag. Now I don't trust just a single Ziploc bag, even though these are decent quality. So I've got a double wrapped. I'm going to be adding all of my zest to that. And don't worry if, got, if you have little tiny bits of it because this is going to get strained later on. <clears throat> Once that's in there. So that was from 10 lemons. Okay, zest of 10 lemons. And then you're adding four cups of vodka. Doesn't really matter which vodka, your favorite vodka, something you find on sale, whatever. As long as it's a pretty clean tasting uh, liquor, you're good. You'll see that I had it set up in this pitcher. That uh, makes it really easy to add your ingredients to it without having it flop over, being able to just do it yourself without having somebody hold it for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mostly seal this up. We're going to use the water immersion method in order to eliminate all the air. So for that, I'm just going to be slowly letting it settle into here. And the water will push the air out for us. Okay, so I've got that first bag sealed and now I'm just going to kind of tuck it down a little bit into the other bag. Well, actually I won't even need to do that because I'll make sure that it's above the water line. I like to use um, these little clamps here just to kind of help hold the top of the bag where it needs to be. Looks like I've got a little bit more water uh, air in there that I'll puff out here in a minute. Either way, you can set a timer for two hours now and it's just going to steep. All right, so while your lemons and vodka are steeping, it's time to make your sugar syrup. So what I've got here is four cups of water. I'm using filtered water. I'm just trying to reduce any sort of chlorine or anything like that that's going on in the water. You could also use reverse osmosis water or possibly even just tap water. I'm not sure, I've never used that uh, before. Either way, um, to that we're adding a cup and a half of that extra fine granulated sugar. Uh, this is berry sugar that I used and I'm just going to heat it up. You don't want to bring this to a boil. The idea is just to get it um, until the sugar dissolves. You'll be able to tell because all of a sudden that whiteness that's in there will disappear and it will just be crystal clear. Once you've got this uh, nicely mixed and all that sugar is dissolved, then we're just going to let it cool down to room temperature while the uh, lemons continue to do their thing. Well, that only really took a couple of minutes for that to fully dissolve. Um, this extra fine sugar is really funny because it took very, very little time to get in there and the water is still actually not much, uh, not much above lukewarm at this point, but it is in there. So I'm just going to set it aside, let it cool. Uh, making sugar syrup is super easy if you're making cocktails or anything like that and you need sugar syrup for it. Normally when I make that, if I'm doing sugar syrup for old fashions or something like that, it's uh, usually a 50-50 blend of the water and the sugar and I just use white table sugar. It takes a little bit more time and I have to get it a bit hotter than I did this but either way sugar syrup is super easy so don't buy that stuff. Um, yeah okay so at this point we are just going to be waiting for the lemons to finish up and yeah get some other stuff done in the meantime. All right so after two hours I'm just going to pull this out of here or remove it from the 
exterior bag. So this first Ziploc bag was just fine. It held everything nicely, but again, I didn't want to take a risk and have any of this leak out into the water. Now I am going to have uh, just a large bowl with a fine mesh strainer, and I'm just going to pour this through the strainer into the bowl. This gets taken on a little nice yellow color here. From those lemon peels. And at this point, what I've done is I have poured um, four cups of that simple syrup we made into here. As you can see in the bowl in the pot, ooh, there's still just a little bit left in there. But I'm going to start off going with this. So it's essentially just doubling the volume. And if I want, then um, it would be possible to add a little bit more sweetness. I just don't want to accidentally overdo it here. And you can really go based on your own desired uh, preference for sweetness. I'm just going to mix that up nicely. And it's still a little warm, so I'm just going to let it cool a little bit before I do a taste test. And we'll see if we need to add any more sugar syrup or not. Okay, well after I let it cool down, I tasted it again and realized it did want a little bit more sweetness to help balance it out. So I added the remainder of that simple syrup. So uh, if you go ahead and make this, uh, I would still recommend holding off and adding all of it, testing it out just based on maybe what your lemons are like. You may uh, want to or not want to add that. Um, Either way, I actually compared this uh, to an actual uh, limoncello kind of product that we had purchased and I found that by comparison this was a little less sweet. I found also that it had uh, um, a sort of a fresher pop to it that I really like um, by, you know, compared to something that I purchased in the store. Um, yeah, so then all I needed to do was just find some uh, fun little uh, vessels to package it in and it's good to go. So I mean for something that took about two and a half hours total time to make uh, using the sous vide, this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic little uh, treat for around the home. So yeah, until next time, keep her at 11.